بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعه وداه ما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to this session of inheritance Today inshallah we will talk about an important issue that uh, appeared after the death of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم that is one of the fewest issues in inheritance that we have where there is a, there is a disagreement and again this issue was recent at the time of Umar radiallahu an and companions disagreed to what extent they should apply it. That issue is diminution and addition. What do we mean by that? Diminution is when we have more than one fixed share and when we add them up, they don't add up. They come to greater than the value of one. What do we do in this case? Now, mathematically, this is incorrect. That is true. Mathematically, if you have one half, you should have also another half or two fourths. You should have one half and two fourths. That will lead to one. But if you have one half and two thirds, the result is more than one. That is in math because we are dealing with mere numbers. But in real life, there is no issue at all. There is no issue at all. Some Muslims, they are asking, why do we have this Islamically? When you have the money, the money is there already. And the division also, the division is applicable. You apply the diminution to every share. For instance, if we have one half and two thirds, what would be an example for that? We have a husband and we have two full sisters. Husband and two full sisters. The husband will take one half. The two full sisters will take two thirds. One half and two thirds, the case is out of six. Three for the husband and four for the two sisters. That is seven, that is not six. Is that possible? The answer is yes, it is possible. It is possible. Now, the husband will take, instead of three out of six, he will take three out of seven. The two full sisters, they will take four out of seven instead of four out of six. Some scholars said no, we apply the diminution only to one of the shares, the weakest one. In this case, the spouse is not the relative the, who has blood relations, so we apply the diminution to him or to her. But in reality, justice says that we apply it to all of them. And we apply it and we solve the case and the case is valid. It is correct. That's an example. On the other hand, if we have only two daughters, only two daughters, the two daughters, their shares are two-thirds. What do we do with the remaining third? What do we do with it? Now, in our time, there is no the treasury of Muslims. We all agree on that. There is no Islamic state that is properly implementing the rulings, the financial Islamic rulings. So, earlier, scholars said if there is Baytul Mal, the treasury of Muslims, then the addition will go there. But other scholars said whether there is the treasury of Muslims or there is no the money is given back again to the heirs. So the two daughters, they deserve two-thirds by the fixed share. That is what Allah Azawajal gave them. They also deserve the remaining one-third as a return to them, as addition to them. It is added to them. That's what they said. And that became the predominant opinion amongst all scholars in our time, in both sides in diminution and in addition. So we will take one case at a time. We will take diminution first. When we apply the diminution to all cases, to all shares together. If you remember, we said we have the original cases are 2, 3, 4, 6, 12, and 24. These are the original cases. 2, 3, 4, 6, 12, and 24. The diminution applies only to three of those cases, only three. 6, 12, and 24. 6, 12, and 24. If you apply diminution to 4 or to 3, then your answer is incorrect. Remember that. If you have a case out of two, there cannot be any diminution. If you, have if you have a case out of three, there cannot be any diminution. It's only applicable to cases out of six, 12, 
12, and 24. So we have 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. 8, 4, 3, and 2, the diminution is not applicable to them. Only to the other 3, 6, 12, and 24. Example for that would be, as I told you, if we have a husband and two full sisters. A husband and two full sisters. The husband will take one half. The two full sisters will take two thirds. So the six became seven. It can become seven, it can become eight, it can become nine, and it can become ten also. So instead of taking one sixth, it could be as much as one tenth. Is that possible? Yes. With the case of six, it is possible. How? Husband and two full sisters and a mother. The mother will take one sixth. The husband will take one half. The two sisters will take two thirds. So the case becomes out of eight. The mother will take one. The husband will take three. And the full sisters will take four. Let's add to them a sister from a mother. She will take one sixth. The mother will take one sixth. The two sisters will take, the two full sisters will take two thirds. And the husband will take one half. So the case becomes out of nine. Out of nine. Let's add another sister from a mother. So now we have two sisters from a mother, a husband, two full sisters, and a mother. The case is out of ten. 10. It becomes out of 10. How? Give the fixed chairs to their rightful owners. The husband will take one half. The two full sisters will take two thirds. The mother will take one sixth. The two sisters from a mother will take one third. So the case is out of six. Three for the husband. Four for the two full sisters. One for the mother. Two for the sisters from a mother. So it became 10. Instead of 6, it became 10. And that is the maximum that the 6 could reach to. It could become 10. Now, the second type, the second category, case of 12. The case of 12, it could become 13, 15, or 17. It could become 15, first 13, 15, or 17. It has to be always odd number. 12 could become 13, and the example would be a husband, two daughters, and a mother. A husband, two daughters, and a mother. The husband will take one-fourth. The two daughters will take two-thirds. And the mother will take one-sixth. So the case is out of 12. The husband will take six. Uh, the husband will take four. Three. <laughs> the husband will take three. That is the one-fourth. The two daughters, they will take eight. Eight plus three, that is eleven. The mother will take two instead of, that's the one-sixth. So that is thirteen. That is thirteen. The husband took one-fourth, that is three. The two daughters took eight, two-thirds. Eight plus three, that is eleven. And the mother took two. That is 13. Now, it becomes 15. How? If we have a wife, if we have a wife, two full sisters, a mother and a brother from a mother, wife, two full sisters or sisters from a father, a mother and a sister from a mother. The case is out of 12. Why? Because the wife will take one-fourth. And the mother will take one-sixth because of the siblings. And the two sisters from a father, they will take two-thirds. And the sister from a mother, she will take one-sixth. So it is out of twelve. The wife will take three out of twelve. The mother will take two. The two full sisters will take eight. That's already thirteen. And the sister from a mother will take two. That's fifteen. Could it become 17? Yes, if we add another sister from a mother. 
So we have two sisters from a mother, a mother. Two sisters from a father and a wife. Add them up, it will become 17. The wife will take one fourth out of 12, that is three. The mother will take one sixth, that is two out of 12. The two sisters from a father will take eight out of 12, that's already 13. And the two sisters from a mother will take one third and that is four and that is 17. So the case of 12 could become 13 or 15 or 17. The last case is the case of 24. And 24 can become only 27. That's all. It is diminishing only one time to, one, uh, to 27. That's all. An example for this would be a wife, four daughters, a mother and a father. We have a wife, four daughters, a mother and a father. How much the wife gets? The wife in this case, she gets one fourth or one eighth. We have children, so she gets one eighth. The four daughters, they get two thirds, two thirds. The, one, the mother, she takes one sixth and the father takes one sixth plus the remainder if there is anything left. So the case is out of 24. The wife gets three. The four daughters, they get 16. The mother takes one sixth, that is four, and the father also takes four. Four plus four, that is eight. Plus 16, that is already 24. And the three of the wife, that is 27. This case is known as the case of the podium because Ali radiallahu an, when he was asked about this case, he was giving a talk on the pulpit, on the podium. And he was asked by a man, what is the ruling on a man, a husband passed away and left a wife, four daughters, a mother and a father. Ali radiallahu an, immediately he said, the one eighth of the, of the wife became one ninth. That's what Ali radiallahu said, and that is the correct answer. Immediately he said one eighth became one ninth. Because 27, if you divide it by three, the share of the wife, it is one ninth. It became one ninth. So that's in regards to the diminution. Now, what about the addition? If we have addition, what do we do? Like what? In cases of addition, we cannot have addition with asaba. Why? The asaba, they take whatever is left. So there is nothing left. Like two sons, they take everything. Five uncles, the case is out of five. There is nothing left. But it happens when we have only a fixed chair that is not completing to the full number. Like what? Two daughters. Someone passed away and he only left two daughters. How much they take? They take two thirds. They take two thirds, but the two thirds, the third that is left, also returned to them. How? What do we do in this case? We put the case as usual. Two daughters, they take two thirds, the case is out of three, two for the daughters. And now we look at the number, it is two, so we cross the three and we put two. We cross the three and we put two. That's how we do it. Another example. Someone passed away and left a mother and a brother from a mother. Think of this case. Someone passed away and left a mother and a brother from a mother. A mother, she will take one third. Why? We have only one sibling. So she takes one third. The brother from a mother, he takes one sixth. So the case is out of six. The mother takes two and the brother from a mother takes one. Now we look at the numbers two and one. We cross the six and we put it three. So actually the mother, instead of taking one third, she took two thirds. And the brother from a mother, instead of taking one sixth, he took one third. What do we call that? We call it fardan waraddan. By the fixed chair and by the return, the addition to the heir. That's what we do in case we have addition. Now. Again, if we have more than one fixed chair, the addition will be proportion. Just like if we have diminution, the diminution will be proportion. The same thing here. 
But the issue is when we have a husband or a wife, how we do the addition and the diminution. With the husband and the wife, there is no addition for them. Scholars agreed that with the, in the case of the husband and the wife, we don't have addition. We don't have addition. They take their fixed chair, then we put the addition to the other heirs. If we have only one group with the husband and the wife, the case is simple. Like what? Let's say we have a husband and a daughter. Husband and a daughter. The husband will take one-fourth. The daughter will take one-half. So the case is out of four. The case is out of four. The husband will take one and the daughter will take two. But there is one left. What do we do with it? Do we cross the four and we put it three so the husband takes one-third instead of one-fourth? No. We add the one to the daughter. The husband and the wife, they are very peaceful. They take only their money. They don't deprive anyone. No one can deprive them. They always have to take their shares. So in this case, with the addition, we don't give them addition. The addition is only to the relatives of blood relations. That's it. Scholars agreed on that. So the husband, in this case, takes his share and the rest is given to the daughter. Another example would be if we have a wife and a daughter. The wife takes one eighth. The daughter, she takes one half. So the case is out of eight. One for the wife and four for the daughter. How much is left? Three. Do we cross the eight and we put it five? So the wife would take one fifth and the daughter takes four fifths? No. We put the additional three to the daughter. So the wife gets one eighth and the daughter gets seven eighths. That's how we do it. Now, when we have more than one fixed chair with the wife or the husband, here we have an issue. We have to calculate accurately. I will give you some cases and I want you to solve them. And then inshallah, we solve them together. So these are cases, I want you to write them down solve them and then inshallah we will solve them together the first case we have a wife and seven daughters wife and seven daughters the second case we have a wife a mother and two brothers from the mother we have a wife a mother and two brothers from a mother the third case we have a wife a full sister and a sister from a father we have a wife a full sister and a sister from a father. The next case, we have a wife, a daughter, and a son's daughter. We have a wife, a daughter, and a son's daughter. Go ahead, solve those cases, and then come back, inshallah, to see the answers, whether they are correct or no. All right, the first case. We have a wife and seven daughters. We make two cases. First, the case of one eighth for the wife. And we put the seven for the daughters. Do we need here to do anything else? No, because the seven, what is left is divisible on the seven daughters. So it is divided. We don't need to do anything else. The case is out of eight, one for the daughters and seven for the seven, one for the wife and seven for the seven daughters. Now the second case, we have a wife a mother and two brothers from a mother. A wife, a mother, and two brothers from a mother. So the case is out of four. Why? Because the wife gets one fourth. The remainder is divided on the mother and the two brothers from the mother. We don't say the case is out of 12 because we have one sixth, one third, and one fourth. No, we have to make two cases. The first case is out of four. The wife gets one, and there is three remaining. That three will be divided on the mother and the brothers from the mother. Now we make the second case for the mother and the two brothers from the mother. How much the mother gets? The mother gets one sixth. The two brothers from the mother, they get one third. So the case is out of six. We have one for the mother and two for the brothers from the mother. Now, 
we look at the numbers, one and two, that is three. We cross the six and we put the three instead of the six. This three is actually the same three that they deserve. So we don't need to do anything. We make the case out of four again. The entire case. The wife gets one, the mother gets one, and the two brothers from the mother gets two. And that's it. The case is divisible. We don't need to do anything. Again, where did the three come from? If we don't have a wife or a husband, immediately we cross the addition and we put the number. One and two, that is three. We cross the six and we put three. But here we had to do first case for the wife because we have addition. And the wife cannot take addition. In this case, the wife did not get any addition. She got one out of four. But the mother, instead of getting one-sixth, she got one-fourth. The two brothers from the mother, they got one-half instead of one-third. All right, another example. The case that I gave you, a wife, a full sister, and a sister from a father. A wife, again, gets one-fourth. So we give her her one-fourth. Then the three will be divided on the full sister and the sister from a father. So we make another case. Full sister and the sister from a father. How much the full sister gets? She gets one-half. One-half. How much the sister from a father gets? She gets one-sixth. Remember that. One-sixth for the sister from a father with the existence of the owner of one-half. And it is there, the full sister. So she gets one-sixth. The full sister gets one-half. The sister from a father gets one-sixth. The case is out of what? Out of six. Three for the full sister. One for the sister from a father, and that is four. That is four. So we put four. We cross the six, we put four. This four, the share of the full sister and the sister from a father, where did it come from, from the original case? It came from the three. The three that was left after we gave the wife one-fourth. That three, we need to match it with the four, the result of the full sister and the sister from the father. So what do we do? We multiply the 4 times 3. Once we multiply this 4 times 3, we need also to multiply the entire case. The case of the 4. We multiply the 3 times 4, and we multiply the entire case by 4. 4 times 4, that is 16. The wife, she got 1 fourth. So we multiply that by 4, that is 4. The shares of the full sister and the sister from a father, they are 4. We multiplied them by 3. So the full sister got 3 times 3, that is 9. And the sister from a father got 1 times 3, that is 3. Again, the case, the entire case now is out of 14. The wife gets 4 out of 14, uh, 16. Uh, the case is out of 16 because 4 times 4, that is 16. The wife gets 4 out of 16. The full sister gets 9 out of 16. And the sister from the father gets 3 out of 16. 3, time, uh, three plus 9, that is 12, plus 4, that is 16, and the case is correct. I hope you write it down, you remember it again. Most questions we receive is where did this 4 come from? Why we multiplied 4 times 3 and we multiplied the 3 times 4 and then we multiplied the entire case times 4. Why? We have to match. I will repeat this case one more time. We have a wife, full sister and a sister from a father. The wife, she got her share, which is one fourth. We kept the 3. Now we make another case for the full sister and the sister from a father. The full sister, she got one half. The sister from a father, she got one sixth. So their case out of six. Three and one. Three and one, that is four, not six. So we cross the six, we put the four. That four came from the three that we left their share. That four is not matching the three, so we have to match them. How? By multiplying one by the other. We multiply the 4 times 3, and we multiply the 3 times 4 to match them. 3 is part of a big case. 
The case is out of four. One for the wife and the three that is left for both of them. So we have to multiply the whole case by four. Four by four, that is 16. One by four, that is four. Three by four, that is 12. Nine for the full sister and three for the sister from father. I hope this case is clear. The last case is a wife, a daughter, and a son's daughter. A wife, a daughter, and a son's daughter. How much the wife gets? She gets one eighth. She gets one eighth. How much the daughter gets? One half. And how much the son's daughter gets? One sixth. We cannot continue. Why? There is addition here. So we give the wife her share, which is one out of eight. How much is left? Seven. We keep the seven. We make the case of the daughter and the son's daughter. How much the daughter gets? She gets one half. How much the son's daughter gets? She gets one sixth. So the case is out of six. Three for the daughter, one for the son's daughter. That is four. We cross the six, we put four. Four. Now, how much their share from the original case? Their share is seven. Seven and four. What do we do? We cannot do anything but multiplying to match the numbers. We multiply the four by seven. And we multiply the seven by four. When we multiply the seven by four, seven is part of a bigger case out of eight. So we have to multiply eight by four. We have to multiply one by four. So the whole case becomes out of 32. We multiplied eight by four, that is 32. One by four, that is four for the wife. Now the seven, we multiplied it by four. So the daughter, she got three. We multiplied it by seven, that is 21. And the son's daughter, she got one out of four. We multiplied it by seven, that is seven. Seven plus 21, that is 28. Plus four for the wife, that is 32. Okay, I will repeat this case again, and I hope it will become clear to you. We have a wife, a daughter, and a son's daughter. The wife, her share is one eighth. We keep the seven remaining, and we do the second case. The second case, the daughter and the son's daughter. The daughter gets one half. The son's daughter gets one sixth. So the case is out of six. The daughter gets three and the son's daughter gets one. Three and one, that is four. We cross the six and we put four. This four came from the seven. It came from the seven. So we have to match them. So we multiply the four by seven. And we multiply the 7 by 4. But 7 is part of a whole case out of 8. We cannot multiply only one number. We have to multiply the whole case. So we multiply the 8 by 4. That is 32. That's the whole case. We multiply 1, the share of the wife, by 4. That is 4. We multiply 7. That's the shares for both the daughter and the son's daughter. The son's daughter, she got 1 out of 4. Multiplied by 7, that is 7. The daughter, she got 3 out of 4. We multiply it by 7, that is 21. 21 plus 7, 28 plus 4 for the wife, that is 32. And the case now is correct. That's what we do with addition and diminution. I hope this is clear. I want you to practice more, to think of those cases more. And inshallah, we will continue in the next session. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.